Hey Ubers, how you doing? Well it's been a while, but it's not my fault really. I've had uh, internet connections, internet connections, internet problems. About, I don't know, a week and a half, almost two weeks ago, the connection became really slow and anyway we called up and uh, they said that there was a fault and they were going to fix it and then, you know, three or four days went past and it wasn't fixed and then we called back and then they said that they're upgrading the line and it was going to be off for another few days. Oh, it was so slow and it was dramatic just because I've got things happening on my Ning site. You know, it's a new month. We've got lots of new challenges. Halloween themes, so we're doing lots of cool stuff for that. Um, and, you know, I really couldn't do anything. So I had to rely on my staff, the girls that help run the site, to basically run it and, you know, do stuff for me while I, I couldn't really do anything. Um, so what's happening? All right, lots of things. Um, at the moment, we've got some challenges running on my Ning site um, to coincide with Halloween coming up. Uh, we're looking at Edgar Allan Poe. Um, he's like the king of spook. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Um, and I'm giving away a bunch of free ATC Halloween inspired Edgar Allan Poe uh, cards. So baby, can you just quickly like to talk about um, uh, an email that one of my staff members brought to my attention uh, that they had uh, received and I guess it was their response to watching my art fair videos and seeing how uh, you know I didn't do too well which I knew anyway because of the location uh, you all know the reason why and she was saying that that's the reason why she gave up doing abstracts and she really she just gave up uh, because no one appreciated what she did. And, you know, sort of the tone of the email was a bit like, oh, I know. I felt sorry for her because, one, I can understand what she's going through, uh, what she went through. Um, but two, I also get really frustrated and I think, you know, at the end of the day, 99% of us artists are never going to become famous. Um, you know, there's only 1% chance that we're going to make it successfully, you know, however you see that. Uh, a lot of us will have a following and, you know, we will have our supporters that, that helps help us along our artistic career. And you know what? I reckon that's good enough. And... I think you really need to question yourself why you're doing art and I'm doing art because it's what I love and it's what I enjoy and if I sell anything you know it's a bonus I guess I'm a bit like Francis Bacon um, his quote that I love is you know I'm pessimistic I'm optimistic about nothing um, he's so optimistic about life so you know he was always like that half cup cup half is full and that's how I, I see myself and, I, and I'm like that I'm always optimistic about nothing you know I live in the middle of nowhere you know I don't live in the city I'm not going to get exposed um, unless I move there and you know that can be depressing for a lot of people it, it could even stop a lot of people from thinking why bother why do I create I'm also just give up because you know there's no no way that I'm going to make it in the city because I don't live there blah, blah, blah. but you know what I don't care because I'm doing what I love, I've got a mess, I'm creating, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I want, I'm mixing with other artists, I'm, you know, creating a social network around me to support me and me in return supporting the artists that want to hang, hang with me. And, you know, it's a two-way street. 
So, you know, don't give up your passions. If you love abstract, and if you live in an area that's really conservative, you know, fuck it. Who cares? Um, you know, sure you're not going to become a millionaire, or, you know, you might need to a painting. But, um, how many artists, famous artists, you know, Vincent Van Gogh, how many artists, how many paintings did he sell? One. Um, you know, you know what I mean? Um, Francis Bacon, all through his life, he thought, he just was like, you know, he burnt 90% of his paintings because he just didn't, he just didn't like them. Um, and, um, you know, he was happy when people didn't like him because then they challenged their preconceptions about art. And, and that's a good thing too. I go to these art fairs, people look at my work, and a lot of them go, oh, what's that? Oh, no, he's got that. No. But that challenges them. It makes them think. Even if it's a negative thought, it still makes them think, rather than looking at a nice landscape and say, oh, isn't that pretty? You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with landscape, and there's nothing wrong with realism, and, you know, I love that too. But I'm just, you know, that's what I'm saying as an example. Hi, Kimmy. Say hello to the Ubers. Hello. You've been outside, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Okay, so to wrap it up, all I just want to say is, you know, do it because you love it. And if anyone likes it, that's a bonus. If you saw something, that's even a, you know, a double bonus. At the end of the day, surround yourself with your art, with what you love, and other people's art. And, you know, I love it. I love it. I love my little cosy spot. And with the advent of the internet and YouTube, you know, artists are getting more exposure than ever. And hey, look, look at me. I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. And look, I only have 2,000 subscribers, um, which is like mind-blowing. And, you know, I have a community of um, fantastic artists on my Ning site. And, you know, I have more support and more love than, you know, I would have got if I wouldn't have got myself out there. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to get yourself out there, show yourself, you know, people love you, too bad. They love you. If they hate you, too bad. So, you know, but you've got to do it. Like I say, think less, do more. That's what you've got to do. Do more. Don't think about what's going to happen in the future. If you're going to make it, just create. Just create. It's all you have to do. Create and the rest will happen. Um, yeah, I've got to stop doing this. I'm sick of this hand thing. Hand thing, hand thing. Yeah. Right, crazy. Too much coffee again. Uh, I've been trying to cut down. Oh, by the way, I got my visa, my permanent residency visa. Yippee. Uh, stoked about that. So, yeah, I'm safe. I can stay. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to Wendy Johnson. She's one of the girls on my staff who's awesome. She sent me this cool t shirt today. Huh? Awesome, isn't it? I love it, Wendy. Um, yeah. I love black. I love black t-shirts with prints on them. And this is really cool. So thanks, Wendy. It was a big it was a surprise in the mail today. Um, Alright, guys. There's going to be a few more videos coming up pretty soon because, uh, yeah. Lots to talk about, lots to do, lots to share. And um, have a great creative week. And um, I'll be in touch very soon. Okay, later. So baby, can you